Hello and welcome to look number two with uh, the Celestial Nirvana palette for my week of Celestial Nirvana that I'm running here on my channel this week. We are discovering this palette together, we're trying all the eyeshadows and making up our mind about it, or at least I am. Now for today's look I'm going to be going into the more like cooler toned purpley blue shades. So this is going to be one of the more colorful looks that I'm going to do with this palette. I hope you don't mind but you know when you're given these colors you kind of have to also go the really colorful road um, and I promise we're also going to try some more neutral things in the coming days but I would really like to dip into these purples and blues today so that's what we're doing. Also, just like a completely uh, off-topic thing, I wanted to mention that I'm wearing again that Gucci blush, the shade uh, Rosy Beige today. But the thing is, I, I did my demo on first impressions of this, uh, of the Gucci bronzer that I bought and this blush shade last week. And the bronzer that I bought, the shade 03, is very warm. So when I paired it with this uh, blush, the undertones were clashing a little bit. So the day after, I actually wore this blush with a more cooler tone bronzer, which is also what I'm doing today. Today I'm wearing it with the shade Fair from the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkist, you know, the new big crema to powder ones. And I just wanted to say that now that I've tried this blush with more cooler tone products, I do actually really, really like this shade. Um, and I have to also add that it performs really well in terms of longevity. That was just like a little side note because I didn't want to forget to uh, mention that. Another thing I don't want to forget is someone asked me to compare this purple shade over here to a purple shade in Pat's Fleur Fantasia quad. So let me just quickly swatch these side by side for you and then I'm going to tell you what we're doing for the look. I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to do the uh, actual eyeshadow. So the shade in question is this one here, which I feel like is a slightly warmer uh, undertone of purple, a bit deeper, and it has a blue duochrome. So this is the one from the new palette, and this is the one from Fleur Fantasia. Um, to me, these are very, very different shades. So here you have Fleur Fantasia, and here you have the new one. And I think the new one is much more blue-toned, almost like... Um, it has like a very strong, like, silvery lavender reflect to it. So to me these shades are quite different from each other and I really quite enjoy both because I really like this shade for the blue flip to it but I also really like how brightening this new purple is when I put it on my um, inner corners. And today I'm actually going to put it all over my lid because I'm very curious how it will look like with the deep purple in the outer corner. And with that comparison out of the way, let me tell you what I'm going to be doing in terms of eyeshadows. I am going to start the look off with this mauve shade, which I'm going to apply as a transition. Then I'm going to apply this deep purple shade in the outer corners. I want to apply this shade all over my lid. I want to try this one as an inner corner highlight and I really hope it's not going to be too dark. And finally on my lower lash line I want to have a combination of this deep blue here and this lighter purple just as like a little bit of a um, blue accent to play up with the clothing that I have on today which is this really beautiful blue dress. Grabbing a very fluffy brush and applying a little bit of that taupe shade. Did I say mauve before? I meant taupe. And I'm going to build that up in small increments because this shade builds up to be pretty dark pretty quickly and I do want it to serve as a transition in this specific shade. I don't want it to be a, like a very intense crease color. So I'm going to try to slowly build it up to an intensity that I feel like is enough. And then we're going to dip into the purple shade. I really enjoy this shade, but be warned that this builds up to be quite much darker compared to something like statuesque, for example. So um, because of that, I find statuesque and because of the tone of statuesque being so neutral, I think statuesque is still a more versatile shade. I really love having this shade in here and I absolutely love the tone of it. But I think in terms of versatility, statuesque remains superior. Crease is done, so now I'm going into that um, very dark purple shade, like a more cooler toned purple. A more cooler toned purple. English, Maria. In that cooler toned purple. And I'm going to start working that here into the outer corner of the eye. Now I know from the first time that I used these eyeshadows, especially that um, deep blue, that these build up extremely quickly. So you need to be very careful with your application if you don't want to go overboard immediately. So first I'm kind of laying the color 
where I want it with this smaller crease type of brush and then I'm going to blend it out but before I do that I'm going to clean my brush off here on my microfiber cloth so that most of the pigment is gone and now I'm going to start to slowly blend it here in the outer corner and keep in mind that when you start blending it out some of it will fade away but that's okay we can always build it up a bit more later I just want to you know have a nice blended crease before I whack on more color. I think we can all collectively agree that regardless of our feelings for the colorful mattes and their presence in the palette, they are of very good quality. Everything I've tried so far has been a really beautiful tone and has applied very easily and blended out very easily, this purple including. And purples are difficult. For this next step, I'm going to take a little bit of my Intensify stick and apply that on the part of my lid where I don't have any eyeshadow on. So I'm going to whack it on here in the inner corner. I'm actually also going to run it on the lower lashes. And the reason I do that is because I feel like it increases the longevity of my shades uh, especially here in my outer corner where my eye can get very watery over the course of the day. And now let's go into this crazy purple shade here. I'm just going to use it uh, like this on my finger. It looks very shiny and very reflective. And I'm going to start working it here to meet up with the purple matte and also all over my lids. And here comes the fun part. I'm going to take this blue shade here and apply a little bit of it in my inner corners in the hopes that it is going to be okay in there. Oh, I find it to be a little bit too dark. Mm -mm -mm. It's not really working so well as an inner corner highlighting shade. So I will have to correct that a little bit. It's, I mean, it's really fun but it's just not as brightening. You know what? I'm actually going to leave it like this. I'm not going to brighten it up because I feel like now that I've blended it out a little bit together with the rest of the shades, it's almost creating like this like sort of halo-ish effect. And I think I'm going to leave it like this because I actually quite like it. And finally for my lower lash line, like I said, I'm going to apply the tiniest bit of this blue shade right here to meet up with the deep purple and then I'm going to apply this lighter purple towards the inner portion of the lower lash line. Be very careful with that blue because it is very deep. I'm going to clean off my brush again and I'm just going to blend that shade out already a little bit here together with the purple and just to soften the edges and finally going into that warmer toned purple here to whack that on my lower lashes So here you have another very colorful look with the Celestio Nirvana palette. Obviously if you bought this palette it was your intention to do a somewhat more colorful look or at least I hope so because otherwise why would you buy this palette? I'm pretty happy with how the look turned out. Like I said I was a little bit in doubt whether that uh, inner corner blue shade is really working but I think now that I've completed the look I really like how everything looks together. I actually really really like this purple shade but I want to add a little note about this shade. This shade just like Daring Dandy from the Bridgerton 2 palette is one of those shades that I think on the lid looks a little bit more meh. I, don't get me wrong it's very pretty very brightening it has such a beautiful like purpley silvery um, brightening tone to it 
but just like with Daring Dandy, I find this shade to be so much more like striking when you put it as an inner corner highlight together with like a neutral look. It's just that's when these types of shades really come to life. So say for example you were to just stick to this corner over here, but instead of this shade as your inner corner highlight you put this one. Match made in heaven. Same with Daring Dandy from the Bridgerton 2 palette. I absolutely love that shade as an inner corner highlight. I didn't think it was that special when I put it all over my lid. It's very pretty, it's a beautiful uh, tone of mint green. But just like with this one, try it as an inner corner highlight. Trust me, you will love it. Do let me know what you thought about this look. I, I think for a lot of my audience this look may be quite a bit out of your comfort zone, but I'm very curious what you th think about it uh, anyway. We will see each other again very very soon to do more looks with this palette and I promise we're going to do something a little bit more, you know, office friendly or at least as office friendly as this palette allows. But until then, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!